What's going on, boxing fans? It's Black Guns 28. Uh, I haven't done a video in a while, but uh, I want to do a, a prediction video for the Danny Garcia and Amir Khan bout, which is about to take place in a couple of days. Uh, I want to first start off by saying that I have never liked, you know, Amir Khan's personality. Um, I think he's got a, a big mouth, um, and I think that he his mouth he hasn't earned the right to speak the the things that he does speak. You know, I think when you, you know, beat the best at their best, you know, then you can consider yourself, you know, a shit talker, trash talker, uh, somebody who who has earned the right to, um, to you know, downplay an opponent <clears throat> publicly. You know, regardless of what you may think of them personally, you got to earn that spot. You know, I, I, I'll be the first to also say, you know, Adrian Broner is another, you, you know, a young, very, very gifted, talented fighter who I think needs to, you know, find his own niche uh, and not be on the Floyd Mayweather route. Although, you know, it's a smart business move. When, you know, I, and, I, and especially for um, African-American fighters to villainize themselves before the media does because you can kind of, you know, make it, you know, you take the power from the media away from, um, you take the power away from the media by doing so, especially for African-American athletes. Um, be the villain, and they can't do anything against you. And you can actually turn it into major, major profits because as much as we as a society want to say we, we progressed, there are always those that want to, you know, they'll say they hate a guy, they hate a guy, they hate a guy, but they will pay to see this guy lose. And Adrian Broner is trying to follow in the footsteps of, you know, Floyd Mayweather. But we're not going to go on into that because that's another video. Um, what we're going to do is, like I said, talk about the Danny Garcia and uh, Amir Khan bout. I see this. A lot of people are picking Amir Khan because Danny Garcia is green. Um, that Danny Garcia, that, you know, a lot of people are saying that Khan is a somewhat somewhat veteran in the game. But here's here's the thing that 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 where it, I disagree. I believe Danny Garcia pulls this fight out. I believe he pulls this fight out by keeping constant pressure on Amir Khan, and he throws a vicious vicious left hook to the body. Um, this is going to be probably the the hardest body puncher next to Marcos Maidana, uh, Khan has fought. Um, the only difference is, is that I believe that Danny Garcia is a fresher, more accurate puncher and can throw combinations a hell of a lot better than Marcos Maidana and can pace himself better than Marcos Maidana. Um, you see, the thing is, when we look for great champions, you know, as Amir Khan wants to consider himself, we look for a steady, steady improvement from each performance, you know. Because, see, right now Amir Khan's been talking for the last few years that he's ready for Floyd Mayweather when we all know 120%, whether you, you know, uh, 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 you know uh, a minute fan, and, you know, what I'm, by that I mean, you know, one of those people who don't really know the sport, if you're a minute fan or you're, or you're a diehard boxing fan, you know that Floyd Mayweather will wipe the floor with Amir Khan. Um, especially at 147. It, it just it wouldn't happen. But the thing is, is that Amir Khan has shown no improvement. In fact, to me, Amir Khan, throughout his last four bouts, has actually shown a, um, he's been on, like, on a steady, steady playing field. He hasn't really risen. You know, the last great, great performance I'd give him was when he fought Marcos Maidana. And the only reason I gave him that as a great performance was that he toughed it out, you know, took some big shots from Maidana. But as far as his performance as being able to, you know, outbox and uh, outwill his opponent, absolutely not. Absolutely not. See, I'm looking at all these videos on YouTube, and they're all like, Amir Khan's going to run all over this kid. When's the last time Amir Khan ran over anybody? Anybody. In fact, the way that Amir Khan is acting is exactly the way he acted before he fought Bradis Prescott. And we all know what happened as a result of that. Need I say any more? 
You see, the thing is, is, is what we as boxing fans, can't, we can't get caught up in is don't believe the hype. You know, again, Danny, you know, Danny Garcia, yes. To me, his performance against, you know, who one of the ring legends in Eric Morales was not such a, a beautiful win. In fact, it wasn't, you know, something that was a dominating win. But the fact is, he went a full fight with Eric Morales. He knocked Eric Morales down. And Eric Morales is probably next to Floyd Mayweather, which he doesn't get a lot of credit for. Eric Morales is probably one of the pure consummate Mexican boxers to ever fight. Ever fight. The guy is a student and a techni technician of the game. He knows how to fight. But yet Danny Garcia, where the busted up nose, I was able to will himself and not only knock Eric Morales down, but impose his will on Eric Morales during the later, latter parts of the fight. Now, you're going to sit there and say, well, if Amir Khan fought Eric Morales, he would have wiped the foot because of his hand speed. What negates hand speed? Timing. And Eric Morales is one of the greatest boxers to show you what a strong jab and good timing can do and to neutralize a speed opponent. To me, Danny Garcia has to learn. And, he, and, what, and what I felt that Danny Garcia did wrong in his fight with Eric Morales was that he waited on Eric Morales too much. What Danny Garcia has to do is take the Lamont Peterson route, which is, and don't be stupid talking about steroids. You, you, I don't want any of you know... People who don't know the game, don't be leaving them dumb comments like it's steroids. That's what it looks. No. What Danny Garcia needs to do is pressure Amir Khan. Amir Khan cannot handle pressure. To me, Amir Khan is just like, and again, this is, not, this is nothing to do with racism or I'm trying to do it. Amir Khan is like Prince Nassim Hamed. Remember that, people? When Prince Nassim Ahmed came into the game, nobody was laughing against Prince Nassim Ahmed because he wasn't fighting technical fighters. He wasn't fighting fighters with a good, legitimate power punch and that could out-technique him. Can Danny Garcia do it? Absolutely. A lot of you guys ain't even, don't even know who Danny Garcia is, don't even watch his previous fights. But go back and look him up. He's a good technical fighter. And actually, Danny Garcia actually has a decent jab. If Danny Garcia steps into that ring with a jab, a very decent, strong jab, I see Danny Garcia beating Amir Khan on a split decision. And in fact, I see him hurting Khan multiple times in this fight. Multiple times in this fight. Because Danny Garcia is a lot stronger than you people are giving him credit for. So this is my prediction. I predict that Danny Garcia wins by split decision, and I'm sticking by it because I just this is not a feeling. This is just for me watching boxing matches all my life. Danny Garcia has all the tools to neutralize and the correct amount of timing to neutralize all of Amir Khan's speed, all of it. And if Amir Khan thinks that going, going back against the ropes, which hands up against a devastating left hook body puncher, such as Danny Garcia, he's going to find himself on the canvas like he put, Eric, like he put <clears throat> Marcos Maidana down with a body shot. And I don't know if Amir Khan can recover from a body shot like Marcos Maidana because Marcos Maidana is cut from a different cloth. All right? So let me know what you guys think. This is Black Vengeance 28. I'm out. Peace.